guys, it's Sharon. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it is truly my favorite thing to do during the holidays. Shopping, of course, gift shopping, shopping for other people's, but also wrapping everything I bought. So today I'm gonna be going over what I bought all of my friends and my families, and you're gonna come along with me and we're gonna wrap them together. So wrap with me and see what I got everyone. I did this last year and you guys loved it so much and I'm so happy you did because that's one of my favorite videos. And what's so funny is last year I was like fighting this like really bad cold that actually turned into chronic sinusitis, which I'm actually getting surgery for in the morning. So it is currently 10.20 p.m. I want to wrap as fast as I possibly can because I have to be up for surgery at like 5.30 in the morning. So wish me luck. <laughs> you can do so by giving this a thumbs up and subscribing for more and turning on your post notifications. But enough of about that let's jump right into this go get some snacks get some hot cocoa get your gifts and let's wrap of course before we start wrapping we need the supplies so I went with this theme of wrapping paper I got it at Target it's really cute really pastels lots of greens lots of pinks I was like you know what we're shaking it up this year last year I did like black white and red and I thought it was beautiful but this one we're doing opposites I also have my bag of like leftover Christmas bows. I did buy another one and my bag of tissue paper boxes gift bags we you know reuse reduce recycle gift bags. I don't know how many times these gift bags have been passed around especially this one but we love mother nature here you know I'm gonna keep using it until I can't. <laughs> And of course, gift tags. Now my first friend, and like always, as I shop along for people, I create a note on my phone so I keep track of all their presents and I know what I'm doing. So my first friend is, which by the way, if you are my friend or a family member and we are close enough that I could potentially be giving you a gift, do not watch this video. Click off right now. Okay, okay. My first friend I'll be rapping for is Danielle. So for Danielle, huh, my tape, my tape just rolled away. Okay, whatever. So for Danielle, I have a mystery. Let's start with this one. I have this adult coloring book and it says you're a mother effing badass and it's basically just like motivational things like this one says don't be a lady be an effing legend and it's just an adult coloring book. I think it's super cute super confident boosting and funny because everything is a swear word. <laughs> I think she'd love it like this one. I like this one. <laughs> this one is just a gag gift. I ordered a happy meal one day and it gave me a little mater. Danielle's favorite movie of like all time is Cars 3 so this is perfect sorry it's not White McQueen but close enough she also really loves Schitt's Creek so I found this little organization DIY thing she is probably the most organized person I know so this is perfect for her and lastly she is also the biggest low-key fan I know like she is obsessed with low-key so when I saw this in store I was like I need to get this for her it is a low-key collector box it has a hat a tote bag crew socks keychain and a mini Miss Minutes LED light I'm so excited for this gift post wrapping slash post surgery Sharon here sorry if I sound a bit nasally but you know sign of surgery so <laughs> everything went well hopefully I can breathe again soon now Danielle's gifts I struggled with the small gifts I wanted to fit them all in a gift box but the coloring book was just too big and I didn't want to bend it I felt like a gift bag was also too big the bag was gonna be mostly empty but I had no other choice I wasn't gonna wrap two small books in a McDonald's toy the only bag I had that the coloring book fit in was one that said peace which we all need anyways for the low-key collector box I obviously had to wrap it with green wrapping paper and I totally sat here for a hot minute because I forgot how how to wrap my mind was just blank I don't know how or why it happened but like there were no thoughts I slowly had to figure out how to wrap again I've been so busy for the last three weeks between my surgery and my cat getting about an infection that like my brain is just fried <laughs> but I eventually figured it out it was a quick and easy wrap you know aside from that hiccup <laughs> I added a name tag and a white bow then I also added green and white tissue paper to the gift bag and here are her gifts next is my friend Deanna I got her you know there's gotta be a squishmallow in here I got her an Edna Mode squishmallow Edna Mode is like her absolute most favorite character top five she has a lot of them I also got her this book that I found on Amazon it's called my lucky night she loves rom-coms and she especially loves the enemies to lovers so I found this holiday book of enemies to lovers rom-com so I thought it was perfect I also did make her a custom bookmark this is like super inappropriate it's an inside joke but it says the only thing I like more than reading books is doing the devil's tango so we love to see it <laughs> I really do love wrapping, but I have a rule and that is if it's like a plushie, especially a Squishmallow, I'm not going to attempt to wrap it. It's going in a gift bag. So I have this one, this one, 
this blue one and this all is calm all is bright this is that's not her uh, this that's not her. I feel like one of these is her. The only problem is it's just a tight fit. So see, if I stick this one in here, that's a chunky bag. And the fact that it's paper, it's so thin. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to go with the polar bear one. Edna, we're just gonna slide you right in there, you know? Still a chunky fit, but better than the paper. And luckily the book isn't too obnoxious either. So I'm gonna put the bookmark inside and I'm just gonna slide the book right in there. Honestly, it could be worse. This is the best we're gonna do. This is truly the best size I can find because everything else is obnoxious. So I will do red tissue paper. And I think I'll add white because of the polar bear. It's like my favorite trick. I don't even know if this is a trick. I don't know if this is common sense, but literally just grab from the middle and shake out. And let's just put it right in here. And listen, it's a tight fit, but it's a fit and that's what counts. So here's Deanna's. <laughs> my next, let's do this one right here. So my next one is gonna be Shayla. Shayla, dang, I feel like I'm copping out. Shayla's gonna go in a gift bag because I really just got her accessories. So her favorite anime is Demon Slayer. So I found this Demon Slayer necklace at Hot Topic, which by the way, if you see any products that you like, I'll try my best to link them all. I also got her these little red heart sunglasses. She loves the color red and she's also very like groovy, poppy, stylish. I don't know, these just make sense. Like I just look at these and I'm like, that's my friend Shayla. And then she has three piercings. We have like this running like inside joke of something must be in retrograde. We must be going through it right now so I found these nine pairs of retrograde earrings it says nine days of preparing for the next retrograde and they're so cute so this is her and listen no way I'm gonna try and wrap this <laughs> this is the perfect size I'm just gonna stick those in this is too convenient. Where's the catch? Let me put these back in the little case. Honestly though, I am getting the easy presents out of the way right now, like the ones I don't have to wrap, so that's why this feels too easy. So put this in there and put this in there. Is it bad of me that I don't label my gift bags in case someone wants to reuse the gift bags? Should I feel bad about that? Is that bad? Please let me know in the comments below if I'm crazy. <laughs> Ooh, should I just seal it or should I put tissue paper? Oh, I can't seal it. So fun little trick for some gift bags, if they have these, like these little plastic things, if I don't have tissue paper or if it's a gift that doesn't take up a lot of space in the bag, I'll just weave it in through the other hole. And of course I use a bad example. This one's perfect because that one was a rope. So I'll just weave this in through this hole, for example. So you want to weave them on both sides. So I only did it on one. Then when you close it, it closes like that. So that's like my favorite hack for when I don't have tissue paper or I just feel like my gift is too small inside the bag. I sadly though can't do that with Shayla's gift because it's rope tied at the end. So I'm just gonna give white tissue paper. We're keeping it chic, elegant, and cute, and we're adding white. Boom, baby. I'm waiting until it gets difficult. It's gonna get difficult for me real quick. Who's next? Oh, let's do my friend Lauren. I got a wrap for Lauren. So Lauren and I, we went on a trip to Colorado. Lauren loves giraffes. So already I have that vine of, you guys say Colorado, I'm a giraffe. So I designed this little print. It's a little five by seven, just cause that's like, when I think of Lauren, I think of that. So I designed just a little giraffe skiing. And it says, you guys say Colorado, I'm a giraffe. I also got her a candle. If I can find it. Ooh, I found this instead. She loves Frozen. Elsa is one of her favorite characters. She likes to think of herself as Elsa as well. So I got her an Elsa Funko Pop. Look how cute. I got her that and then I got her a candle that I have missed place. Hello? Oh, here it is. Lauren is a Taurus. She's also into astrology. So I found this all natural soy candle. I was like, let me not say something and be wrong. It's a little Zodiac candle. It's from Golden Tail Candle Co. I haven't opened it yet. I really want to smell it. I could kind of smell it from here and it smells pretty fire. I just don't want to open it because it's so much more difficult to wrap a candle and it's already in a perfect box. Maybe not perfect because it's a little beat up, but I'll just smell it when she opens it. Honestly, I could smell it. 
This smells pretty good. I think I did good, so I'm very excited for her. I think I can probably get away with wrapping these two together. Yeah, because it'd be kind of pointless to just put this in a baggie. I grabbed light blue wrapping paper that had snowmen on it, and it wasn't intentional at first, but then I realized, oh, Olaf and Frozen. It worked out perfectly. I put the little photo frame with the Elsa pop and wrapped those two together. It was a little bit wonky because the frame was longer than the pop, but whatever. The candle was an easy wrap. I did change the wrapping paper for this one. I like keeping my gifts together, so I'm not searching under the tree for them later so i tie them together with some twine i think it's cute and aesthetic if you will also just so much more organized of course i topped off with a name tag and a silver bow my next and i think my last friend on my list is my friend talia talia loves bad bunny like loves so of course i had to get her bad bunny related gifts i found this blanket on amazon i love that it's all vacuum sealed perfect easy wrap i also got her these little friendship bracelets from hot topic hot topic there's a red one with the sun and there's a purple with the moon purple is my favorite color so dibs on the moon and you know like the sun and the red matches with bad bunny un verano sin ti you know it goes together and of course in like true bad bunny fashion i did get her the same glasses that i got shayla but i got hers in pink because talia absolutely loves pink it's her favorite color ever so of course i'm gonna be wrapping her gift with pink wrapping paper let's be honest i could have thrown all of these in a gift bag or even even a gift box, but I do think wrapping is much more fun and I had pink paper, so I had to wrap. The accessories were small enough for me to just place on top of the blanket and wrap together. It wasn't the cleanest, cuttest, if that's even a word, wrap, but it got the job done. I added a silver bow and a green name tag. Now for relatives, I'll start with my mom. My mom, I got her a heating pad because she's always asking to use mine, so I got her her own. I also got her e.l.f. lipstick. It's Seriously Satin Insider. This is one of my go-to lipsticks. I'm wearing it right now. My mom loves it and has tried to steal it from me multiple times, so I got her her own. My dad and I also pitched in and got her a ring camera for my grandma's house because she spends a lot of time there and she worries about my grandma, you know. Also got her these mother and daughter side-by-side -side bracelets. They're so freaking cute. My mom is always losing her keys, so I bought her one of those like little wristlet keychains things, so hopefully she stops losing them. And I got in the color pink. How cute! And you just put on your wrist for your keys. And the other thing that I got her that she's always trying to steal from me as well is hair clips. So these are a three pack. Now my mom loves pink, so we're gonna wrap the heating pad in pink wrapping paper. And to be honest, everything else is so tiny that I don't want to wrap them individually. So I'm really just... I'm gonna toss them in a gift bag while well, I make it more difficult than it needs to be. First, let's start the ring camera. Then we'll do the little key holder, hair clips the bracelets and lipstick easy peasy what colors Ooh, would green stand out green or red i'll do green hello so let's put it here this is the funnest part cute so there's half of my mom's gift now i just need to wrap the heating pad heating pad <laughs> Watching this back is so funny to me because everything I got my mom was either so she'd stop stealing mine or stop losing hers. <laughs> moms, right? Either way, super easy wrap. We love those sharp 90 degree angles. I decided to top it off with a red bow and a green gift tag. Next is my dad. So my boyfriend and I went in on a ring camera for him and also a bracket for the doorbell. I also got him an Old Spice Fiji set. Loves Old Spice. Actually, you will quickly find out every older man in my life loves Old Spice and you'll see what I mean by that. And then the last thing I got my dad is a photo album from our trip to Italy. This is all he's been asking me for all year, but I just, I get so overwhelmed with like photo trips. I mean, like this right here, this is like 300 photos, y'all. You know what it was? To choose 300 photos out of like the thousands I took. Stressful. It really is stressful, but I did it. This one's going in a gift box. Perfectly enough, the two gift boxes that I have are just the perfect size for it. My only thing is, this one I literally used last year. How do I know that? Because I see the tape residue on it. So <laughs> I think I use this one for my dad too. Would he notice? No, but obviously I'm noticing now. If it wasn't him, it was someone because it has tape on it. But my only other option is this one. And it says, cozy Christmas wishes. My dad is not a fluent English speaker. He speaks Spanish, so 
I'm gonna have to do my dad dirty and give him the same box again. I'm just very lucky that man will literally not realize at all. So the photo album is going in a gift box. <laughs> I'm gonna use the little Red Trucks tissue paper because this is literally my dad's dream car. If you could have any car in the world, it would be that little Red Truck. Hello, tissue paper, if you could unfold, that would be lovely. Now we're just gonna put it in the bottom. This is what we're working with. And now just pop the lid on top. Honestly, whoever invented gift boxes, thank you. Boom, one down. My dad's presents were super easy to wrap. I did use some of last year's wrapping paper on the Old Spice just so I can get rid of it. But for the smaller gifts, I used the new wrapping paper. I considered tying the gifts to the gift box with twine, but decided to just tie the three wrapped gifts together. Of course, add a name tag and a dark silver bow. I think they look so freaking cute. So remember when I was like, every older man in my life loves Old Spice. I feel like I cheated my grandpas with this one, but hear me out. They all literally love Old Spice. So um, I just got them all Old Spice kits. <laughs> it was a really good deal at Target. So I was like, you know what? It's something they're gonna use. It's something they really like. And it's something that's a $25 value. <laughs> They only had two, so I got Swagger and I got Fiji. Just gonna wrap these and one's gonna go to my, my Grandpa Gabo, my Grandpa Mike, and my Grandpa Mario. Sorry guys. <laughs> Am I sorry though? This is something I know they all like. Is it weird to buy multiple people the same present? Now I'm insecure. And the last gift I have to wrap tonight is for my Mima. Mima is my grandma. I got her just a little fuzzy blanket and it's already rolled up. So I'm gonna do what I did last year with one of my presents that came just like this is I'm gonna roll it into like a little candy cause it's super cute and it's super unique and it's best of all, super freaking easy. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're almost at the end. What time is it? It's 1.04 a.m. I, you know what, I'm not gonna lie. This is around the time I expect it to be done. And one of the best part is I'm technically not done. I technically have a box full of my boyfriend's gifts, but the problem is I live with my boyfriend so he can hear me. Any sound I make, he can hear. Maybe I'll just show you guys what I got him and then wrap it another day because also I have surgery in a five hours and I need to go to bed. So yeah, let's wrap Mima's and I'll show you what I got my boyfriend and I'll figure out how to wrap it secretly. Okay, yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> when I say this is the easiest way to wrap, I mean it. I just roll it in wrapping paper, tape it down, and this is where my battery died. Look, ah, look how cute it is. I was wrapping it and I think my camera died. I just measure how much I would need on the circumference and then I tape it down and for the ends, I literally just tie it with twine. It looks like candy. It's my new favorite way to wrap things. It is so precious. I'm obsessed with it. I just need to put Mima's little name sticker on it and then I am officially done for the night. Where, where's my sticker book? Oh my gosh. Right here, right here, it's all good, it's all good. Let's put it right here. Wow, you can just eat it all up. <laughs> I'll show you a little sneaky peek of what I got my boyfriend. Technically, all his gifts haven't even come in yet. He is the last person I need to finish shopping for, but I'll show you what I got him so I don't have to actually verbally speak it out loud. And then I could do a little voiceover. Genius, we love it. He collects Funko Pops, and The Invisible Man is one of his favorite old monster movies, and it's actually one of the first movies we watched together when we started dating. I got him the villainous board game because every time he sees it in person, he debates getting it, so I got it. He does have a beard and wants to take better care of it, so of course, a beard kit. He is also a gamer at heart got him the guardians game for ps4 we're both marvel lovers and far cry 6 which is inspired by cuba and i'm cuban so boom i also got him matching bracelets these ghosts were so freaking cute i got them because he's my boo that was so lame <laughs> and that is it Christmas wrapping for 2022 has come to an almost end. I'm just gonna wrap all of his stuff when everything else is here. Anyways, thank you for tagging along with me as I wrapped these presents. If you want to buy any of these, I will try my best to link all of them. I think, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I did a pretty solid job. I love giving personalized gifts. That's why this is my favorite time of year because I like the little things about people and I like letting them know that I remember these little things about you so I'm content if you guys enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up if you like to see more I recommend checking out my wrap with me from last year you can find it on my vlog miss 2021 playlist and you can also check out any other video on my channel I make pretty solid videos so if you haven't subscribed already you definitely should <laughs> now shout out the day goes to Sari on Instagram thank you so so much I hope I pronounced that right by the way if you would like to be shout out of the day just follow me on my Instagram and stay active and 
Y'all, I am so ready to go to bed. I'm not ready to wake up and go through surgery, but I am so ready to go to bed. I haven't been able to eat or drink anything for hours and I'm starving, but I can't until surgery, but whatever, you know, here's to new Christmases and new sinuses. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>